So in this video we're going to be taking a look at what's in my camera bag 2020. So I wasn't actually planning on doing a what's in my camera bag 2020. It's probably a bit late in the year anyway for it, but I do plan on changing my camera in the next couple of months. So I thought what better way to document what I've currently got and then we can see in the future what I move on to next. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is my actual camera bag. This is the Low Pro flip side 400 AW2 and I absolutely love this bag and it is the best bag I've bought today. One thing that I really love about this bag is the rear opening. So there's plenty of room inside for your camera and your gear. It's a lovely padded bag. Got plenty of slots pockets for your laptop. On the front you can fit a tablet and plenty of other items in there. I have actually done a video on this and I'll probably link that somewhere up in the corner or down in the description so if you want to take a look at that please do but for the money this bag was a pretty awesome purchase so onto the camera I have the Nikon D5300 this is a crop sensor body with a 24 megapixel sensor and for the money it's a pretty lovely little camera I think this cost me around 400 pound so if you're starting out it's really in that nice price range it's one step above the base model one thing I love about this is the flip out screen which enables you to film yourself if you really need or you can take shots high up or even low down which is a pretty nice feature especially in that price bracket now four months into buying this I was convinced that I needed to upgrade my camera until a mate told me that I should learn to use my camera so that's some advice for people out there learn to use it because once you've learned how to use it you will get far better images than you initially think now if you want to see any images I've took on this I'll put my Instagram down at the bottom and uh, if you want to nip over there to have a look feel free so onto the lenses so my first lens is the 18 to 55 AFP DX lens that's basically just the kit lens that comes with a camera with an f-stop of 3.5 to 5.6 so there's nothing special there but it does a job my second lens is the 35mm AFS lens now this lens was the first lens I bought outside of my startup kit and this thing was 100 and about 150 pounds so it's like the cheapest lens you can buy but it's a nice little lens especially to get going with it being a prime it's one of those lenses where you can't zoom so it, it does teach you to find better compositions rather than just zooming in for that composition so it's a good lens just to get you going and teach you a few things now this is the AFP 70 to 300 millimeter zoom so you can get some decent reach obviously with it being a crop sensor that equates to around 450 mil zoom range so it's pretty good for wildlife and stuff uh, I generally do landscapes so it's great for zooming in to the distance but like I say I do use it for a bit of wildlife and it's pretty decent really I think this was about 320 pounds roughly no so uh, basically them three lenses cover my entire range at the moment I have been getting a bit more into wildlife so I've been looking at slightly longer zoom ranges and that's one of the reasons I'm changing my camera I think so onto the filter system I use the roll eye Role not really sure how you pronounce that. This is the 100mm filter system. 
So it's quite a nice built system. I think it's for about, I think I paid about £170 roughly off Amazon, which was the filter holder. I think it came with around seven adapter rings, a circular polarizer, which actually fits in, and three stop graduated filter. So for the money, I thought that was pretty decent. I do plan on actually doing a review on this or just, just to take a look at it for people out there that might be looking. It's kind of a nice mid-range price and that personally I think it's been great. On top of the 100mm filters system I have also got some round filters which screw on the front of your lens. So I've got the ND filters, polarizer, uh, a variable ND. So these are pretty small enough to take with you. If you like long exposures and stuff like that, it's great to have a, just a little ND you can screw on the front rather than getting the full system out. And the pretty fit DX kit, they're pretty cheap enough. I think this were about 30 quid for about three filters, which included the UV, which I don't really use to fair, the ND filter and the polarizer. Next up is the GoPro Hero 5. I think that's what it is anyway. I've had this for a while. I just use it, take it with me. I want to buy it if I want to film anything. Uh, I think to be fair, the last thing I used it was last year for when I filmed the stags, when I did a walk around with them. But I generally take this everywhere with me, just in case I need it, you never know. So next up, if I've got a GoPro, I need something to mount it on. So I have the selfie stick, just enables me to film walking around. So next up is the Manfrotto Pixay mini tripod. So I do use this for my GoPro as well. So you can set it up if you need. Or you can even use that as a selfie stick to walk around with. It's about £20, but I've seen it around £15 in certain places. So it's nice and compact, so it quite easily fits in the bag. Next up is the Yolanze STO3, which is a smartphone holder. As you can see, it's nice and low profile, so that just squeezes right into the bag. It doesn't take up much room at all, but that enables me to use my phone while I'm out and about to film if I really want to. So I have done a video on this as well, so I'll link that down in the description. So next up is the Velcro bag out of my uh, low pro bag, and in here I just basically keep cables. I've got a USB charger for my phone or anything like that. Uh, few spare feet for tripod. I've got an habit of losing feet. And uh, nothing too spectacular in there. Probably just a spare quick release plate just in case I need that. Head torch. So I do landscapes, so sometimes I'm out early in the morning, so it's handy to have head torch so you can see where you're going especially when you're on hills and mountains so that has to go everywhere so last but not least is the tripod and this is the Benro Go Plus travel tripod now I absolutely adore this tripod it's probably been one of the best purchases I've bought far better than my old tripod it's got loads of options for where to position the head and how low down to the ground you can get And sat on the tripod, I have the three-legged thing Neo ball head, which that's a lovely little piece of kit as well. So I can't complain with that. And they go well together, I think, with orange and blue. Pretty nice uh, combination. So that's it for this video on my camera kit 2020. So if you'd like to see more of me or any other videos I make, please click the like and the subscribe button. And hopefully I'll see you in a future video. Thanks for watching.